what's going on guys welcome back to the channel ah oh, i am ready for season six of the walking dead season five Woo. season five right anyways we're going to jump into it i don't have much to say for my intro but i know i'm gonna have a lot to say for the review morgan has been reunited with Rick. Somebody made an interesting point on my last reaction when I did the season finale. Those three episodes I did talking about how the last time Rick saw Morgan, he was crazy. And now Rick um, reuniting with, I mean, now Morgan reuniting with Rick. He comes and finds Rick in a very compromising <laughs> situation. You know what I'm saying? You know, him going kind of crazy and not it's not necessarily that i think what he did was crazy no is that i was like yo this dude needs to go like you know what i'm saying because you know ain't no prison system and and stuff like that like you hit a woman i'm not saying you deserve to die because you hit a woman or you're hitting a woman or abuse i'm saying in the times that they're living in and to their verse you get what I'm saying for him doing that and then killing another right there on the spot coming waving around a sword killing the ladies um the 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 congresswoman um husband you know what I'm saying like he he deserved to go he deserved to go this is no time for for you to play god you know what I'm saying coming in thinking you're right about the situation another person was talking about how did he get a hold of Michonne's sword and they I'm like, yeah, he could have easily gone to the house to get the sword um, while they were all at the meeting. You know what I'm saying? Um, Michonne was there, right? Michonne was at the meeting. Um, was Carl at the meeting or were they at the meeting? I'm not sure if they were at the meeting or not. I'm not sure. But the I did watch the after credit scene, guys, of Michonne picking up the sword picking her sword back up she yeah she's ready again you know what i'm saying so let's go watch this episode i am curious to see what they're going to do now man because oh oh this series is so good let's do this season six episode one and i will see you guys for the review Okay, so I've decided to do only two episodes. <clears throat> I was going to go ahead and watch a third, but um, your boy needs to go eat something. I was going to go eat and then come back. So, you know what? Let me just end it there. Two episodes I think is good enough to, you know, start off the season, season six. Epic, epic start to the season. Um, them trying to deal with this horde. <sighs> Something just had to go wrong. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting here waiting. I'm, I'm like, what is going to go wrong? Because I know something is going to go wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't going to be that easy. You know. Um, hopefully they figure out a way to get the horde away from Alexandria. Like I'm hoping that even though the community is kind of compromised right now. Still, because the wolves are out there, they know where they at, and they left. and And this is the thing with Morgan, man. You see, if you take him out, you don't have to worry about them coming back, threatening the community. And I think when Rick finds out, or if he finds out about that Morgan did this, this is going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem because Rick is gonna say, "That's not good. That's not good for them that he let him go." You know what I'm saying? They are going to come back. Maybe with more people. You don't know how much people they have. You don't know if they came with a small force. To just see what happened. I know that um, dude that left his bag out there. I, I know he's going to blame himself. For this situation. Of course he's going to say it's his fault. Why they found the place. Because he left his bag or whatever. You know. So. For me. The way how I look at this, or I see it going, is they're going to have to figure out a way to get the horde away from them. Because they can't deal with that. Or they're just going to have to come back, 
just pack up and just dip. You get what I'm saying? Because Daryl them is still leading the horde away, the the front part of the horde, but the back part has veered off heading towards Alexandria because of the, the truck horn that went off. So there's so much to un unpack here in these two episodes. That's why, you know, when I take a stock back, I said, let me unpack this stuff because I don't want to do a third episode to stock on to that to do a review of all three of those episodes because it's probably going to be more stuff for me to talk about. So um want to talk about Morgan. Morgan is really puzzling me right now when it comes on to his character because there's something something happened with him. We don't know about it yet. I think we're going to find out soon enough, maybe through a backstory of what happened, why he decided to not kill anymore. You know, um, he doesn't want to kill. He just, I don't know if he just still believes in humanity, if that's what changed or he had to kill somebody he loved. I don't know what it is, man, that he decided I'm not going to kill anymore. I'm just going to knock niggas out and move on. Get on with my day. You know, but I like the dynamic that him and Rick is having right now, which is um, it's playing on us as the audience as trying to figure out what will we do? Whose side are we on at this point? You know, I'm always going to be on on Rick's side because we were there. Morgan was not there for the journey to see all the things that every time when Rick starts to let down his guard. Shit just hits the fan. After a point, you get tired of that and you just start doing shit a different way. You get what I'm saying? You know, you may believe that Rick is the same person. I don't think he's the same person entirely. I still think that though, that those parts of him still exist. But I think that there's another part of Rick that has kicked into overdrive. The part that thinks a, a little bit like Shane. So he kind of has that balance right between having you know what i'm saying being the same way didn't want to kill just want to rescue you know what i'm saying um a, a person you know what i'm saying a person who hasn't turned wasn't died you know that part of him but there's also the part of him that has become a lot shane like you know what i'm saying where is uh oh to survive, I'll shoot you in the face. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We remember that Shane did that to um, um, Otis. I think his o his name was Otis, right? If I'm not mistaken. No, it's an old name. I think it was Otis that he killed to survive. Fed him to the walkers, you know what I'm saying? To survive, to get out of that school that he went to get the medical supplies. And I was pissed off about it. I was very pissed off about it. I'm not going to sit here and say I was not pissed off about it. I didn't agree with what Shane did. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I didn't agree with what he did. You know, um, I don't know if Rick would do something like that right now, though. Because that's, that's going up overboard a little bit when it comes on to killing to survive i don't think rick has ever killed anyone to survive necessarily or get away from walkers i don't think he's ever done that you know what i'm saying he's never done that so it's more of like people who has tried to kill him that he doesn't hesitate to kill them you know what i'm saying like a person like um the dude um the dude that he killed in the final episode of last season, that guy deserved it. He deserved it. 100% he deserved it. Um, there was, there, they confined him. They put him in a different home. This dude broke out, killed, what's his name? Um, Reg, killed Reg, and then freaking with, a, with the sword and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? In the middle of everybody. You know, um, that was just crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? He could have took out more people if, you know what I'm saying? Um, knew the dude was bad news. You know, so there's this moral conflict that's going on in the show right now. And it's a moral conflict for us as the audience and also moral conflict inside the show itself. And it's not necessarily that you need to pick a side. It's more of like you need to like what would you, you're questioning yourself you're like 
would I do what Rick do or would I do what Morgan does? But you got to understand that there's reasons why they do what they do. It's not, it's not just, they're, they're not just killing for kill's sake. And then you have these wolves that are just crazy people that is coming and just kill, 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 kill. Why are they just killing? I'm guessing we're going to find out about them just like how we found out about the guys before last season um in last season when we found out about them and what they were doing uh why they became cannibals right so i'm guessing they're gonna do the same thing thing with the wolves um for this season make them you know the enemies you know um so i'm looking forward to see what they have in store for the season um going forward man this was two very good episodes to begin the season that one hour episode i think it was like like an hour and maybe 10 minutes or so so yeah man i'm looking forward to that but anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in if you are here check out this review and you at the end man don't forget to hit that like button before you leave before you sign off before you click on your next video hit that like button subscribe if you're new there's more walking dead to come leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you think of the start for the season highly anticipated season six here we go i'm loving it already thank you guys so much for tuning in and as always sport terabyte reacts Peace.